knife. Another note. United India uniforms. No ranks or assignments on the sleeves. That must be it. Anything in any of these others? Like, come on. What, is seriously, seriously, you couldn't have just told me that they were going to be impersonating United and India Trading Company people? Big pardon? Oh. That's it. That's what I was supposed to come here and find out. Come, Izzy. I'll help you up. Slowly there. How long was I out? Long enough to have me worried. Galahad, where in the world have you been? First of all, we may have a situation on our hands. What is it? First, call in Nicola. We'll need armament. The rebels turn the psychiatric ward into a hideout and what looks like a staging area. There are clues that indicate a potential threat to the United India Company and Lord Hastings. Yep. I'm telling you, I'm fine now. You still need some time to recuperate. I assure you, Gray, I'm perfectly well. Will there ever be a time when you will heed my advice, Izzy? Yes. You know the answer to that question. But you would have to obtain Father's blessing first. Aww. My friend Galahad. Well, Marquis, where have your concerns for my well-being gone? Oh, Mademoiselle, I never doubted for a moment that you would prevail over these miscreants. However... The same cannot be said of your gallant knight. <laughs> Not a word of this to anyone, Nicola, understand? As you wish. You are taking a big risk. What did I tell you, monsieur? We'd almost given you up for lost. Uh, what? We were unavoidably detained. Tell him about the no, elder. We don't have much time. Uh, sir. This, this is for you as well. It should all be in working order. Thank you, Nicola. And the other weapon? Ah, yes. You never fail to deliver. Percival, for you. Might come in handy. The Agamemnon, what's its status? It has already departed. On its way to Portsmouth for its last port of call before it leaves for the Americas. And the security detail on board? Have they been made aware of the rebel threat? For all we know, the guard detail could have been infiltrated by the conspirators. We need to unravel this without arousing suspicion. So, no. The council should at least be apprised of this situation. We don't have the luxury of seeking the council's permission. Oh, yeah. We're getting a Percival's definitely in and How on it. I suggest we do that, Mon General. It is already airborne. That should be easy. You read my mind. The Sentinel 5. Yep. Oh, the Order 1886. It has so much potential. Sentinel 5! We are on board. Acknowledge the Percival. Sentinel 5 is eating back and will remain available for support. Confirmed. Thanks for the drop off, Captain. Good luck, sir. Sentinel 5 out. Is this your idea of easy, monsieur? We're all secure, nope. Percival. We move on your mark. Very well. Mark. Oh. Gray! Lafayette! Uh Oh, I've got to move up to go down. Move my mouse stick up to go down. This is most precarious, my friend. Giving up so soon, Marky. In position. Uh. I'll shatter you. Of course you will, because you're the bad guy. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I, should, I was about to say I should have one more jump. Where the hell are the crew areas on these things? In the dirigible? In the dirigible. Alright, well, okay. Sure. I guess. Oh no! Let's get inside! Oh, he just came down finally. of the cockpit. Quietly. Understood. Isabeau and I will do reconnaissance. We need eyes on the ground amongst the guests. And imagine me with nothing to wear. I suppose I'll have to go dress shopping. Pulls off engagement, monsieur? Do what you must. We don't have time to distinguish between rebel conspirators and the company guards. Oh, come on! Not a safety net before. That is true. And then again, we are commandeering the flagship of the United India Company's fleet. Questions? Then let's move out. Sebastian, I must ask you, who is the old man you are talking to on Mayfair and Whitechapel? The old man. It's a long story. One that I will share with you when the time is right. There's still much that I have to find out for myself. I hope you know what you are doing. It seems that the council grows wary of your defiance. The order is not what it once was, Grayson. Yes, you've said that much before. <laughs> Patience, old friend. All in due time. No, I don't trust that at all. Remember, stealth mode. Lucky. Mademoiselle has my absolute assurances. I shall be as silent as the grave. I'll go in looks clear late of first. We should hurry. Wait for my go ahead. On me. Go. I'm waiting on you. Do I have... Why can I not access the armory? Like, what have I done net not to be able to access the armory? Is that something I'm missing, or what? Secure the cockpit and wait for the orders. Have fun, then. Okay. If you ask me, men were not meant to fly in machines. Good. Our entrance was not noticed by the guards. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, hey, look. Is this a control unit? <gasps> it's a control unit. And I, of course, I get to use my disruptor device. That went much better than my first time. Pop goes the weasel. What the? <sighs> Job for a mechanic, not a guard. Don't know why I even bother. Best built shit in my eye. What up? Galahad, Lafayette. We just encountered resistance from company guards. They are using deadly force. Reciprocate if necessary. No, you didn't. I want to hear it from Isabel. It's about. It's, it's a grain. A grain. What? That was far too annoying. <laughs> All right, moving along. Hello, viewer. Welcome to the stream. We're currently playing the Order 1886. Found out so far the half breeds are werewolves. Okay. Uh. Maybe loose one. How quietly can I? How 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 slow do I have to go for a stealth kill? Flip the breakers. No. All right, and oh. you're dead. Oh, what? The? What? It is a very pretty game, by the way. Hello, your your name is very bright, so it's actually hard to read who it is. No. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, dun dun, dun dun. The 
hell is wrong? Hmm. And I'm supposed to be a good guy. I'm supposed to be a hero. Yeah, it's a very pretty game. Oh, hi. Open door. There. Okay, no? Oh yeah, here it is. Nope, classes got cancelled. Right uh, apparently te northern Texans are even worse about the cold and the rain than, than uh, Tennesseans. I can see three in the cockpit. The guard may present a challenge. We'll just have to improvise. Uh, sure we will. Well, hey, 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 how, how, about, how about you wait for me? Settle in, boys. Next mooring is at Portsmouth, and then it's an uneventful few days for the Americans. Smoke and eat. On your mark. Three. Can't even tell we're airborne two, when I'm back in the hold. But yeah, hold those. One. Yep, pretty much. Boom! 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 I will say this, it's a lot of quick time events. Yeah, not so much slushy achiness, but a lot of a uh, a lot of uh, ice on the road. We seize the ship in the name of liberty. Percival. The cockpit is secured. Lafayette will remain at the helm. What is your status? Lord Hastings is in the vicinity of the ballroom, aft of your location. We will try to get eyes on him. Get here fast. Acknowledge. Shall Hello, Hello, viewer. Welcome to the stream. Remember, we're currently playing the Order 1886. Werewolves and werewolves and rebels. Oh my. Aw, sad day. Is it uh, internet too bad for it, Kayla? Sad day indeed. Ah, it's um, it's a short game. I would say watch it instead of play it. I mean, it's 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 very pretty, but I get the feeling I'm like halfway through the game already, and I've been playing for like a couple hours. Oh shit! Oh shit! I got I didn't realize I had to be stealthy. Um, yeah, I've been playing for a couple hours, and uh, I feel like I'm halfway through the game, if not more. And I get the feeling um, it's not worth the money, unfortunately. Like. So far, I, I've enjoyed it. It's not worth the, the money right now. Okay. Oh, shit. I see you. Up, 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 up. Which way are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Shit. Um, I might take a break in a bit, yeah. I've been playing for... I've been play, playing either this or Binding of Isaac since about 5 in the morning. No, 4.30 in the morning. I started playing Binding of Isaac. Um, so I've been playing this for, um... Mm, yeah, about 2-3 hours. So it just depends. Okay, so. You're gonna go up there and you're gonna stare. And I'm gonna take you out. I will say this. The game is very brutal. The game is very graphic. And, uh, yeah. That way. Aft. The game is very brutal. The game is very graphic. The game has naked tits flashing around it's at a couple points. And not all of the instructions are clear. Like, for example, for this, it's telling me, 